Hey guys, what's going on? It's Rekt Capital and welcome back to the channel. In today's video update, we're going to be focusing on two altcoins in particular, Swipe and Coty. We're going to be looking at these two projects just to understand who will win, who's got the best um, price predicament, who's in a better position, technically speaking, when it comes to price action. So let's dive right into it. We're going to be focusing first on Swipe, SXP. And this isn't even the full chart. I just want to focus on the perspective that lies in the next few days and potentially even more realistically the next few weeks. So when it comes to Swipe, this is essentially the range that it's in at the moment. And this is a really wide range. This is a very wide range where price can really overextend itself or at least extend itself, but sustainably so. But the main thing to really note at this point in time is that we're still near the range low. This is the range low. This is the range high. And we're in an area of historical consolidation where we tend to see lots of sideways movement from swipe at this range low. And you can see that this goes on for multiple weeks before price expansion towards the upside. And it's really important to just note that because we are in a period of consolidation once again at this very same area. It is a historical period of consolidation. So anyone getting bearish on swipe, it's not the time to be bearish, but rather to just showcase and understand how price could appreciate from what has been a historical reaccumulation area. So we have to also note that we tend to see FOMO wicks beyond this green box over here. So people do rush into positions historically. We do jump the gun a bit but then we see a breakout. So these people might be trapped in their positions for a few weeks before we actually see price breakout significantly. And we're seeing the same market psychology repeat over here as well. Lots of FOMO wicks, lots of FOMO wicks, even recently, right? And the most important thing to bear in mind here is we need to see those FOMO wicks just disappear. So the most important thing is we need to see a weekly candle close, which we've seen already, but we need to claim the top of this green box as a support before further upside. That's the most important technical step that Swipe needs to do, and it hasn't been able to do that. So the thing to bear in mind right now is the multi-week higher low in the form of this black trend line that's been holding up price for swipe, but it's not just been holding up price. It's been really showcasing people buying the dip aggressively after every pullback. And it's a very bullish sign that people are buying aggressively after each dip. So this uptrend line, as long as it continues to hold, we're going to see this top of the green box really be challenged and pressured. We're going to see a lot of pressure against this region and we might see a break of that region. So at the moment, swipe needs to weekly close above here again, and then test the top of this green box as a support, and then follow through on the green pathway. And it's interesting because we could see some sort of triangle form. So we have this uptrend line right over here. Are we going to see some sort of diagonal form again to form a triangle overall right over here. Are we going to see an ascending triangle? So this being the trend line and this being the ascending triangle. Overall, most important technical step, test this green box into support. And then we're going to see fantastic upside to at least this point, this price point. So that's swipe in a nutshell, really. Let's focus on Coty. Coty has had a phenomenal uptrend and it's had this upside. Well, we've seen uninterrupted upside from Coty for the past few weeks until this point, And then a bit more of an, an overextension in the form of this long upside wick. And this is really a tough wick to defend because this is really a bearish uh, candlestick formation, which tends to precede substantial uh, downsides. So we're already seeing a bit of a correction for Coty. And 
if it weekly closes below this level and it looks that way at the moment, we're probably gonna see this area turn into a resistance and then reject price to this region. And the most important thing to watch out for is this is the entire rally. And will Cotty retrace 60% of that rally? Because that tends to be the case in a bull market. 60 to 70% retracement from that point. So that could be to this point or even to this point. But in any case, we need to see Cotty just lose a bit of steam. It needs to just compensate and correct for that overextension for the time being, for the next few weeks or so. And then we'll see a bit of a recovery start to, you know, develop. So overall, who will win? It looks like Swipe is in a better position. And if we just look at Swipe's price action and compare it to Cotty's, Swipe is in this kind of period. Cotty was consolidating here in a period of historical consolidation, right? Historical consolidation, which has preceded fantastic upside each time. And Swipe is in an analogous situation where it's in a period of historical consolidation before tremendous price expansion. So who will win? Well, Swipe is the winner in this episode and it does beat Cotty quite substantially, but Cotty will be a solid pick in the next few weeks. I'm sure of it once it just exhausts itself and starts to level out a bit after this pullback. Swipe the clear winner. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And of course, leave a like if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. This is a new feature of Who Will Win where I compare two altcoins with one another just to showcase which has the better technical setup. Today, the winner is Swipe. Let me know in the comments down below which two coins you'd like me to cover for you in the next episode of this Who Will Win series. That's about it for today's video. I'm Rex Capital and I'll speak to you in the next one. Speak to you soon.